my second week of options trading on my bull mobile platform. What to do in a red market? I woke up a little late for the opening of the market. Man! It is a red day! It is great day for people buying put! Buy a put is your best bet in a red market! So, buy a put, how to sell with a stop loss? Here, I select on the spy that I bought earlier. I am still a beginner when it comes to selling with stop loss. I click on the sell and 4 options came up. I choose the stop sell and set it at 0.18. Basically, the stop sell will occur from preventing me losing more money. I am still playing around with this feature as I tried to modify my stop order when it goes up to take profit. How to turn a stop loss into massive profits? My cash balance shows a balance of $154.37. Here are some of my SPY buy and sell orders. Earlier, I bought a SPY call for 0.53 and my strike price was at $386. SPY surpassed this number as I was taking a shower. My last sold price was at 1.10, I 2x my money and my cash balance now stands at $154.37. What a great day! How to buy a put? I noticed SPY was around $384.60. I look at SPY and all my indicators are pointing a downward trend. I bought a put at $23 with the strike price of set at $382. Later I set up my stop loss for this order and lost a few bucks. I was testing out my stop loss and see how can I use it. I bought a PLTR call. I noticed PLTR was hovering around 940 ish my indicators were showing that it will go up. I bought a call option at $9.50. This cost me $29. My cash balance is now $122.20. You may notice my one contract of PLTR. How to sell with a stop loss in place? I initially set my stop loss at 10% but I manually set it at 0 0.20. I was willing to lose up to $9. How to modify your stop loss to profit? My PLTR was going up so I modify my stop order. Instead of the 10% loss at 0.27, I manually set it at 0.28. Once it hits my new limit, then it will automatically sell to close out my order. I did more buying of a call option on PLTR and it closed out my order at my stop price, preventing me from losing even more. Here I set an alert if PLTR hit my price at $9.60 but it never did. I ended the day with $145 and 1 cent down roughly $9 from yesterday. I'm still learning. Looking at the chart and indicators on SPY. I noticed my green 13 EM across over my yellow 48 EMA. I switched to the 5 minutes chart for another look. It still looks like the green 13 EMA is lagging behind and underneath the yellow 48 EMA. I didn't place a call but see how much it would cost at the $379 strike price. It would cost $106. I took a bite out of apple. I saw that my green 13 EMA was crossing above the red 200 EMA. This signaled to me to buy a call option. I bought an Apple call option at 0.81 with a $148 strike price. This cost me $81. I later set my stop price at 0.40. Apple sold my call options but later made a massive comeback, so I would made profits on this instead of losing. What I learned is that I could set my stop loss even lower to prevent the sell. I placed a call option on Jack P. I saw that my green 13 EMA was crossing above the red 200 EMA. This signaled to me to buy a call option. I bought an DKNG call option at 0.29 with a $12 strike price. This cost me $29. I later set my stop price at 0.20. I tried to hold for profits but it tanked later in the day and it didn't hit my stop loss. What I learned is don't be too greedy and take profits. Checking out NBDA to see if a good call to buy. I noticed my green 13 EM across over the 48 yellow EMA. I wanted to wait and see if it touches the red 200 EMA. I zoom in to have a closer look. The green 13 EM never cross above the red 200 EMA to signal a call. 
the call options will be too rich for me right now. I tried to place a spy put at the end of my trading day. Overall my strike put didn't hit my limit and I didn't have the greatest trading day. My cash balance is now $100.53. I can't wait for tomorrow. I started my day by checking out my cash balance. My cash balance is now $100.53. It's a new day and I am ready to make some money. First, I checked out SPY. It seems there was an early market sell-off as SPY stands around 371-ish. QQQ was around 280-ish. Looks like the same thing that happened to SPY happened to QQQ. Let's have a good trading day. I bought a put option on AMC. From my chart and indicators, it looked like AMC was going down. I bought a put option for $29 at the strike price of $14.50. Later, I set my stop loss at 0.16. I was willing to lose up to $13. I bought a call option on losing. From my chart and indicators, it looked like the green 13 EMA was crossing above the yellow 48 EMA. So I bought a call option for Lucid at $39 with the strike price at $19.50. Initially, I set my stop loss at 0.25. I set and modify my stop loss for both AMC and Lucid. Eventually, my stop loss for AMC made a sell preventing me from losing more money as it was going up. My bid went on Lucid. My cash balance stands at $104.29. These are my buy and sell orders. I'm learning to modify my stop loss on my options. Every time Lucid ran up, I reset a higher selling point so I can make profits. Eventually, I sell out at my stop price of 0.61 to take in profits for the day. This was a big win for me as it gave me confidence for my next play. I went for an Amazon put at the end of the trading day. I noticed that my green 13 EMA was crossing down on both the yellow 48 EMA and the red 200 EMA. My MACD indicator was going down while the stochastic RSI was going up. I bought a put on Amazon at the $108 strike price for $1 or $100. I got overly confident and should have known better based on the stochastic RSI indicator. Eventually, I set a stop loss at 0.50 and Amazon went back up and I lost out on $50 for this trade. I ended my trading day with $54.17. What I learned is celebrate your win and save to invest another day, so don't get overly confident and destroy your momentum. On to Friday, July 15, 2022. I bought a Neo put the start of the trading day. The strike price on Neo was $20 in which I paid $12 for the contract. I noticed from my chart that NEO was going down. I set my stop loss at $6 so I was willing to lose half. I was watching NEO as it went beneath $20. I modified my stop loss at 5% and made 100% profit as it made a sell at $24. I was happy to start my day with a little win. On to the next play. I bought an Amazon call and put it in. My strike price was at $115 for $38 contract. From the looks of the chart, there was an upward trend. I set my stop loss at 0.24 and I realized I regret this move. It hit my stop loss and made a sell. Later, I was chasing Amazon and this is a bad move as I bought a put at the strike price of $114 for $47. Eventually, I lost even more money while Amazon made a dramatic rebound over $115. If I was patient from the beginning and never set up my stop loss, then I would made a profit, lesson learned. Here are my buy and sell orders for July 15, 2022. What I learned is to have a little bit more patience and set your stop loss lower or not at all. Plus don't get too emotional and chase after your loss trying to recover. I did this with Amazon. It pays to be patient to see where the overall trend of the stock is going. At the end of week 2, my cash balance now is $26.95 since I didn't do great this week. Next week, I have to get more dry powder. On to week 3, be smart, trade with the chart, this will grow a big heart, that'll allows you giving to the world to start.